what's up guys it's your boy Siobhan here back with something different and this is random Fridays today I'll be showing you guys how to save some data so first thing first we need to do a little housekeeping just to see what takes in up to what's taking up some space either data or megabytes or gig spaces so you want to just uninstall some applications you haven't used for the past three weeks or over a month those applications just get rid of them because obviously you're not using them it's just sitting around there taking up some data you might never know another tip i have for you guys is disable autoplay videos on cellular network so over the last years facebook and other social media platforms have introduced a feature which is called autoplay and it offers a great experience but with more people sharing videos i mean you're unknowingly using up a lot more data on your iphone than you've expected so just go into the social media applications go into the settings find autoplay for videos and just turn that off either turn off upload to hd on cellular data or never play autoplay videos so you would have to manually play the video which wouldn't be a pain come on guys you just need to touch it what you rather do pay 1000 for your bill or just touch and play a button up next you want to find out how much data your apps are using so a little bit of housekeeping again as you can see snapchat 117 megabytes youtube 113 megabytes and my month has just started as you can see i turned off some of the applications already because i'm trying to minimize my bill so guys go ahead do some housekeeping see which applications are taking up the most and turn them off it will always work once you're connected to wi-fi or even if you try to use it it, it will give you a message that you need to turn on cellular data so you'll know up next guys you need to disable cellular data for icloud and these are your apps that are backing up in the background with cellular data <laughs> and that could be a pain definitely turn that one off and always use it with wi-fi trust me that's the best way to go up next guys you should disable automatic downloads i don't know why you guys would want to have automatic downloads on what this does is that it downloads any updates that comes in the app store it will just download on your cellular data so let's turn that off so it will work when connected to wi-fi up next guys disable wi-fi assist ah, i don't even know why apple introduced this but what how this works is that it will definitely use your cellular data if your wi-fi claims to not will be working as smooth or as quickly as possible another tip i have for you guys is to disable background app refresh so this is when your applications like your timeline on twitter is loaded in the background so when you open it you will have a fresh new timeline you can definitely go ahead and turn this off it won't affect the experience or anything but it will definitely save you a little bit of data maybe not a lot but it will help another tip off for you guys is send low quality images on the iMessage so you won't be able to send any crispy HD images you'll be sending a standard definition images to your receiver and your receiver would receive a standard definition image as well so bear that in mind it won't help a lot but every mickle makes a muckle and if nothing is working for you guys just go ahead and just turn off your cellular data always love peace